Hi guys. So I was playing with some of my new goodies and I put this card together last night. Um, and I got a lot of questions on how I did it. So I just wanted to show it to you. And normally I try to show you guys cards that can be made in under 10 minutes. This is going to take longer than that. Um, the longest part of it is just waiting for the foiling part to dry. So I've already pre-made some of the steps and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So the first thing is to make your card base. I'm using um, heavyweight cardstock for that. And then I have some um, teal paper over top to mat that. So the teal paper is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the fun part is making this foiled background. So let me show you how you did that. So I have my mink heating up over here. You can probably hear it clicking. Bring that in the frame for you. So what I've done is I have taken this Gina Marie Designs stencil, which is the butterflies here, and I have run through um, texture paste transparent gloss. And I showed this in a video yesterday on all the things you can do with foiling. So Gina Marie Designs and um, Creative Vision Stamps carries this stencil. Now the hardest part is waiting for it to dry. Now I will recommend you cut your cardstock down to size before you fo before you put this transparent gloss on because if you try to cut it, it's not so good with your trimmer. Um, so this piece is cut down to five and a quarter by four. And again, you have to wait until it is completely dry and transparent. There is one little spot here that's a little milky, but we're gonna run it through anyway. The foil I'm using is Creative Vision Stamps Foil and we are using Crystal Ballroom. Okay, so you can run this through your laminator or your mink machine. If you're going to do a laminator, I would recommend having it on the five milliliter setting um, and letting it warm up. I'm going to cut this foil down just a little bit so we don't have so much excess hanging off. I like this foil because it's um, a little thicker, so it's much easier to cut than the thinner foil that flaps all over the place. And then you can use a piece of parchment paper or regular folded copy paper. I am using my uh, mink folders. Okay, and you want to try to smooth that out, make sure there's no air bubbles. And this is the folded side, and we're going to put that in the machine. The machine has been warming up, and it is on setting number three. Now, I did just do this texture paste, so um, I, I tried to let it dry. By the way, do not use a heat tool. It causes the texture paste to bubble up. Ask me how I know. So you got to be patient. That's the hardest part It's going and doing something else for a while. Um, I think it was like an hour or so, maybe two hours. So while the texture paste is drying, what you can do is work on the butterfly part. So what I've done for the butterfly is I have stamped that out on Nina Solar White and I am using Creative Vision Stamps Big Butterfly, very large. You can see here, I mean, it's the size of my hand. It is a very large butterfly, red rubber cling stamp. And I use the new Catherine Pooler Midnight um, ink pads. Whoever told me I was going to love these was correct. Um, they are spongy ink pads, just like the um, Stampin' Up! ink pads are, which I love. However, they're very light. So it was very easy to take this and dab it over the, um, and it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. And they're very light. I, I really do like this, uh, this style ink, so I think I'll be investing in more of her inks. All right, so I've stamped that out. And I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit here while I color. And I'm using my Prisma Color pencils. And I've only used three colors, guys. So black, uh, number PC935, True Blue, which is PC903, and Ultramarine, which is PC902. And what I did was any area that's already shadowed on the butterfly, I just went in and filled in the black. Now, you don't have to use a heavy hand because the stamp is already shadowed, so you just kind of want to follow that shadow. Okay? 
The next thing I did was I took the darker blue, which is the ultramarine blue, and anywhere adjacent to the black, I colored in blue and also highlighted along the line of the butterfly wing there. Notice you do not have to be a really um, expert at coloring here. I'm going to show you how easy this is. All right, then I went in with my lighter blue, which is the true blue, and filled in everything else. All right, so you guys get the point there. So. Again, you don't have to be an expert at coloring. So then what I got was my Gamsol and my blending stumps. And all I did was just dab the Gamsol with the blending stump and just go in and blend all that out. Now I did all the black first and then I went in with the blues because I didn't want the black to run into the blues it's personal preference how you did it how you want to do it I should say okay so you guys can see here what a difference it makes from just straight coloring it with the pencil and then going back in with the gamsel and what the gamsel does is it breaks down the wax in the pencil there and it forces them to kind of blend together. Very similar to when you're using markers or Copic markers. Um, I'm not great with Copic markers yet, so I feel more comfortable with color pencils. And if you have too much, you can go in with a regular eraser and erase it. If you have too little, you just go back in and add more color. But you can see the difference down here without the gamsel, it hasn't been blended yet, and here where it has been blended. Okay, so once I have my butterfly all colored, then we're going to move on to cutting him out. So we're just going to fussy cut him out. After you fussy cut him out, you wanna take a memento um, marker and all I do is I just go around the edges. Now here's a tip. Once the butterfly is cut out and you're doing the edging, I always hold my image face up because if I'm going to slip with the marker, I'm going to slip down and when you slip with the marker and go down, it marks the back side of your paper versus holding it this way. So I always hold my image face up and just take the marker and drag it towards me. And if you're going to slip, most likely you're going to slip downward and go under your image and it will mark the bottom of your image. You're not gonna slip upward, if that makes sense. Okay, so my butterfly is all fussy cut out. He's been lined with the memento marker. The next step is I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but there is a little bit of shimmer on him. So this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, Shimmer Pen, and it's called Moonstone. And it's a very sheer light blue, and all I do is I just go into all of those blue areas and just cover color over it. It's not going to cause the pencils to react, um, and it's not going to bleed anything. The ink is not bleeding, and I'm just coloring over all of that area. So what it's going to do is just add a slight hint of shimmer. Let me see if I can get this to pick up a little light on here. You see that? So a little bit of shimmer. I'm also going to take that same pen and I'm going to roll his wings with it. Just the tips of the wings. He almost looks like a real butterfly. Okay. So then we're just going to take some dimensional glue or pop dots. I have some pop-up glue here. And I'm just going to put a few of them down his center here. 
And these are dimensional, so they will pop them up. You can use foam tape, anything you have that's dimensional. All right, so the last part here is putting everything together. So we have our card base, we have our butterfly, the big reveal of the foil piece here. Now any place that it missed, you can always run it through, but I think it came out pretty good and I am just going to use some extreme adhesive. Just so it doesn't move. Center that down, and then I'm going to put our little butterfly at an angle here, and I'm just going to press down in the center where his body is, and that glue and or the glue dots are so strong, they will hold him in place. Now, if you don't think your wings are cur curled enough, you can go back in with something a little smaller, maybe a pencil, and curl it a little more. And there we have our shimmery blue butterfly from Creative Vision Stamps and Stencil and Foil. Beautiful, beautiful card. So there you go, guys. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. We are very, very close to 2,500 viewers. I would like to do a giveaway. Um, I'd like to send some people some beautiful um, Creative Visions foil, I think, so you guys can try it out. So if you have any ideas for a giveaway or you think you would like some of this foil, post it down below and we will uh, figure out what we're going to do here to get to 2,500 subscribers. Thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping.